Braceville Church has been working with a team of local architects to design and prepare construction ready drawings so that we can utilize all 23,000 square foot square feet of our facility. The work is almost finished and so I'm very excited to show you what it's going to look like and why I think it will help us make a difference in the Shenandoah Valley. So there are two ways since 2020 that people in America have changed the way that they interact with the Lord and with this church. The way we are designing this space now, I believe it can help us better reach people right where they are in this 2023 world that we're in. Grace Built has been consistently growing each year. 25% um, more children this year than last year. Uh, so our church is growing, but there's this funny thing that's happening where in America, people who go to church, go to church 50 to 60% less frequently. If you went to church once a month, before COVID-19, before 2020. After 2020, that person might go to church only once every two or three months. With no relationship comes no discipleship. So those two go hand in hand, and we wanna do what we can to incorporate more relationship building into our design. And here's what I'd like to show you. Here's a rendering of what our outdoor worship area will look like. There will be large tables for, for where multiple families can eat together. There will be groupings of Adirondack chairs so we can get to know each other and share our lives and talk about what God is teaching us. It's gonna be a perfect spot for outdoor concerts, testimonies. This is our current worship area now, but it's going to be transformed into a, lo into a lobby where people can gather, as you can see, around the fire with comfy seating and long tables for relationship building. Uh, uh, it will have a full service cafe. Um, next to the cafe will be uh, a full sized warming kitchen to help people uh, make a friend. You know, another way that Amer America has changed since 2020 is people are much more willing to learn and engage online. At Grace Built, we understand that you can't grow as a Christian unless you learn more and love more. We need both spiritual nourishment in the Word and spiritual exercise in serving God's people so that we can grow as a Christian. We want to use our facility to help other people receive that spiritual nourishment. So here's our current warehouse. And in the back of this warehouse, we're going to transform it into a, into a 350 seat auditorium to help people learn more online, this auditorium will feature built-in camera stations. That means no more tripping on cables. Yeah, okay. And six foot wide aisles um, around the seating areas. This will allow our camera volunteers to move freely and safely. Amongst other things, it will have a 15 foot wide AVL booth and a dedicated uh, and soundproof media production room. So these things allow us not only to better uh, reach people through our online services and preparation of videos and other online courses, but it also allows us uh, plenty of potential for the future. Our new auditorium will also have many special features for our in-person congregation. Um, for example, our building was built as a bowling alley uh, originally, and so it has uh, in the foundation step downs where the machines for the bowling used to be. We're going to incorporate that into a sloped seating area as you can see. We, this will improve the audio and the visibility in the room. There will also be a flat area in the front of the room that seats about 50 people. This will provide flexibility for the future in terms of baptisms, um, displays, youth activities, or anything else that the future might hold. Also, we will have a dedicated sensory room for families that need a room that's quieter, quieter or less bright. So any family, even families with special needs, can grow in Christ too. This new kids department will triple our educational space. Feature, it will feature two different multi-purpose areas. areas. It will have, be perfect for active style worship or, or just having fun. fun with learning environments for up to 150 children of all ages. 
Now, none of us know what the exact figure will be that we will need to raise so that we can begin the renovation. Uh, inflation is uh, around the corner and we still have the drawings uh, needing to be finished and then we'll get the quotes out to contractors in the spring. Um, but we, we estimate that it's going to be around $500,000, maybe more. So what's our next step? Keep loving the Lord. Tell people about Jesus. Seek first his kingdom, just like you have been. And as you're putting Jesus first, Jesus will take care of his church. And so that's the update I've got for you. Keep doing what you're doing. God's on the move, working behind the scenes to help us carry out the mission of his church. Thank you for supporting and loving uh, your church. Um, God bless you all.